So this is a requested video by Travis Glanton. Now I'm kind of busy with requested or with um video requests right now because I have a lot of them to do. So there he's been um talk. Well, I made this video about the Lowe's towers. It's uh yeah, and um he said some about this um tower and uh red and white guide tower. It used to have a modern incandescent beacon. So, the way he said, looks like it had more than one beacon, because he has beacons, so yeah, it's, it probably has more than one beacon, so I asked him where it could be, and then, I also got this one too, so yeah, it, he told me where it was located, so, it was taken down, it's this red and white tower with the modern incandescent, and it was taken down in 2005, so, um, I asked him if, Wait, let me go back and read it. Because, um... Oh, I, there was a something I had on it. Um, so yeah, here's the next thing he said about it. So, um, he said tower farm. I meant to say tree farm. Because there's a little farm full of trees. And I went back a time on Google Earth to try and find the tower. There before I asked him where it was specifically located. So, um, I found this, what I thought to be a tower, in the middle of a field of trees, like a tree farm. So I thought that was a tower, but it could be something else. So I went back in time on Street View after he gave me this location to it, and I was able to see the tower. So, yeah. it Now, the way he said, it probably has like a modern incandescent about halfway up the tower, but I do see the one at the very top. That's, uh... It's a guide tower, so it's not a... Because when he first said that thing about the tower, I thought it would be like a freestanding tower. But um, it turns out it was a guide tower once he started replying back to me. Now here it is from when I found a Google Earth. The tower, I'll show you where it stands. Okay, so this is the thing facing north. Up if I can get it here. So the tower is like right in here, and you can see the shadow of the tower right there. See, so yeah, there's the shadow to the tower. And, uh, yeah, the tower stood right there. It's kind of hard to see when I first found a Google Earth, but you, you can just barely see the shadow. But, yeah, it's... And anyway, there's the tower again from Street View, so, yeah. It was pretty hard to find, but... Until he gave me a location, it was... But, you know, we need to, like, save these incandescent beacons. Like, towers with incandescent beacons are cool towers. And they're also classics, too. Because we need to save these incandescent or classic beacons. Because in the next video, I'm going to make there these two MCI towers. Where the modern incandescents had a sad story to them. So, yeah, it's, uh... There's going to be more incandescent beacons in my videos of these towers. Because I like the towers that... I like towers more when they have incandescents. And uh, speaking of that, I was thinking about the red and white Jackson Hill Tower today. And because FH324s were around since the early 2000s and it was built in 1991. I'm kind of having suspicions now it probably built... It, or it probably had a modern incandescent. So yeah, there's a chance the red and white Jack Snell tower had a modern incandescent. Because, you know, this this is what made me think about it today. Because there's probably more red and white towers now that used to have modern incandescents. But this one was taken down in 2005. 